Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. So, yes. Shall, shall we dig a hole? Oh, we're going to do this? I mean, I figure why not? Well, okay. Shit, I forgot you asked me before we started recording about that. Did you go look and see how big it is? No, I, I would not have Because the thing is, so the build height used to be so a lot smaller. I don't think we have to dig a hole. This could be all on the surface. But then we just need to get a lot of dirt, right? Uh, yeah, I guess we would need the dirt for it. I did not consider that. Do we have any dirt? Probably. I mean, we can do kind of half and half. We can start digging it down and use that dirt we collect to go back up. Right. Let me make a shovel. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a diamond variety shovel. I just got a, a mini iron one for the time being until I figure out what we're doing because I don't remember anything at all what this looked like. Because um, people are talking about how massive it supposedly it is. is. And it's, I don't it's remember it being fucking that big. huge. It's huge. It's gonna take forever. I mean, how many? How big was each layer? It's big, man. I don't know. I gotta get. I gotta get back up to thirty levels. I wish I'd thought about this before I just spent my levels. I also figure what we can do with it to try to expand upon it is in some way, shape, or form. Can we make each layer? And get a villager onto it. What's the villager going to do? Uh, pick and pick the stuff. No, that's not the that's not the part of it. The whole part of it is to see if it crashes the server when it does get picked. But I also don't want to have to replant it all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. And you know, I never replanted ever. That was a one run wheat harvest. Oh, well, we might be able to do that too. Um. I mean, yeah, we could probably, we could probably put a house on each layer and put have a have a farming villager in it. Yeah, I guess and they, like lock them in. It, it. You just would never get this stuff. It'd be kind of pointless for them to tend it, right? Right, right. We just we, they don't we like throw put it in a chest or anything. Off. Yeah, so we could we could throw seed the seeds on them we get from the harvest, and then they plant it, but we get the harvest. We lock them back up, like they go in at night into whatever their house is, and we lock their ass in there. Oh yeah, because they would probably have enough just from tending it for a little while to have seeds. I, I'm assuming well, we could just can... throw seeds on them after we harvest it. We can give them the true. seeds. Oh my god, I blew you blew a hole in the house. Me? No, no, good creeper. I was like, I did not. <laughs> That's not me. So while we're gonna start preparing for this thing, did you happen to see my tweet today? I did not. Oh wait, okay, I did, but I didn't click on the image. So you're going to have to tell me what it was because I was busy at the time. So I didn't get to see the details. So this is beyond fucked up, in my opinion. The D.C. Department of Health, they're, they're rebranding and they're renaming themselves D.C. Health as opposed to the D.C. D.O.H., which is like everybody knows the acronym D.O.H. means Department of Health if you're in the medical industry because every state has one. But D.C. is now rebranding to D.C. Health for whatever reason. The license renewals for nurses are due uh, in D.C. D.C. does it all in one uh, at the same time. Everybody's license expires at the exact same time, at the exact same day, and everybody renews. So everybody's on the exact same recycle period. Some states do it by birthday. Um, so everybody's completely different. Some states do it by, uh, like in Michigan, everybody does expire at the end of March. But half of the people expire on even years and half of them on odd years. To like stop not tax the system as bad or something. I don't know. I was about to say it sounds better. Like what you're telling me sounds awful because it's just like this mass of things that have to happen all on the same day. But yes. anyways, so not only does the I'm gonna start digging somewhere. By the way, um, okay, where, yeah, I'm just getting the third level so I can. Where should we? It needs to be somewhere at? a little far away from home because it's big, man. But I need it's to big... know how wide is this thing supposed to be? Is where I well, need to... we should have looked that up before we started. How wide do you <laughs> think it was? I mean, I are we talking like someone, 64 blocks across? Are we talking 300 blocks across? I feel like someone said 58 rows. So three times 58. Why was why there's a water channel in between every row? Water channel in between every row? Right? Or something. Why would there be a water like there's, channel there's, in between every row? Well, not, not a water channel. There's 
there's because like the water has to run down and so the the rows have to be blocked in or something i need to look at i forgot we should have looked this up before we started i even mentioned this to you before we started. i know i forgot <laughs> start talking about something else <laughs> i'm gonna go start digging something far away okay i we- think it's 58 times three is what is the width i don't understand the times three because you can't have it planted beside each other. Yeah, or at least can. I didn't. I didn't, okay, motherfucker? Can we make it better? <laughs> the villagers are going to have a hell of a problem if we don't have them planted next to each well, other. Well, we're replicating. We're not. Listen, we're not. We're replicating. Because there was close to We're, we're, a, tri- we're a tribute band. <laughs> we're, we're yeah, not, yeah, we're, yeah, not we're tribute band. Stuff. We're farming tribute band. Um, I'm trying to find a nice. I wish there was like a meadow around here or something like that. Yeah, a flat area would be nice. Yeah, which. This isn't flat, but it actually could be built right. This might be okay right here. Uh, it goes into. Oops, I fell off of the edge. I went into a cave. I think this area will work. Yeah, yeah I think this will work. I mean, I don't know where you're at. So to the right of the house and over. You see where that? Uh, you remember where that big wooden thing is in the distance where I was trying to hide from Enderman? You'll see it when you get on top of the house and look to the right. Okay. The opposite way yes. of the village. I, I, I didn't know what you were talking about. Yes, where you were trying to have better. So anyways, so the D.C. Uh, Department of Health, or D.C. Health, they it's, it's license renewal time. And they was actually supposed to start license renewals a couple weeks ago, but they were delayed because they wanted to implement their new renewal system. Their renewal system was really antiquated and just basically like an HTML form online is what it essentially was you know very 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 basic uh, but you have to get in there make an account sign up for um, uh, or su- ad- admit that you have all your like continuing education requirements and all this stuff and then like make a payment and pretty much your license goes through and you only ever had to prove in the past which is kind of still the case if uh, if you get audited is when you had to prove to them that you had your CEUs now they have this new system because they want everybody to upload all their their proof of their CEUs right at the beginning, so it's all like you know recorded and all this stuff. So you know it sounds like okay, it sounds like a much more robust and up to date system. What's a CEU by the way? Just CEU is a continuing education it. unit. Okay. So it's just like you have to get so much continuing education unit to keep your nursing license. So in DC, it's all state specific, but in DC, you need 24 CEUs uh, or C, just continuing education CEs, whatever you want to call it. Um, you need 24 of them in DC. And they don't have to be in any special concentration or area. This has to be nursing related. Um, okay. So. Uh, now they're making you you know, upload them and everything. So it sounds good on paper. So they just got the system updated and functional yesterday. And put out an email that you can now start to, like, you know, go use the new system. And then we're also going to give you an extra month, a grace period of a month. Like, your license is supposed to end at the end of, expire at the end of June. But now it's technically, they're saying, you know, your license is really good until the end of July because it took us a while to get the new system up and going and, and everything. So you're behind in your renewal period. So I go onto this website and... One thing that always drives me nuts when they implement a new system is you have to make a new account, which is annoying because then you're just making an, another new account on the same website because it's it, you can't use the same account for whatever reason. But it loads this basically same shitty looking type of HTML form. So it's like they really haven't made any progress, for one. It still is this not user-friendly, not pretty system that looks like I could have programmed it in my sleep. Okay. So the first thing you do is it makes you get into this thing. You say you have to make your account telling them who you are, what your nursing license is. And then the first thing that happens when you get into the renewal section is it makes you look up your nursing license from a lookup list. And it's got like a little search window, and you type your name, and it pops up the uh, the licenses under you know that name or whatever. Because I, it, nursing licenses have always been you know they're public searchable. People can always look at any state and go see what you know who's got nursing licenses, who's got like health professional licenses, and all that stuff. So that's not off the wall, except for the fact that not only when you click on this thing, does it not work so you I, I searched for my name my name comes up I click on my name like it says I'm supposed to and it just 
hangs there for a while and then goes back to the main screen. And the only thing I mean, probably because everyone in your fucking area is trying to use it. Oh, no, trust thing. me. There's not many people that have been using it yet. And I can tell you exactly why I know that. The okay. only the, finally when it gets back to the forum, the only thing it populated through was my first name. So now the form has all these things I have to fill out. My first name, middle name, last name, nursing license number, expiration, initial issue date. The only thing that's filled out is Jeffrey. Okay. And I'm like, okay, that's fucking stupid. Uh, but let me go try this again. So I try it four or five more times, and it still just gets that. So I end up starting to manually type in the stuff. And this is something I didn't realize until today, I will tell you, because one of my colleagues was like, Jeff, I have a problem with something on this website, and I didn't really pay attention to this. In the lookup, it's a just you basically it's 16, maybe that one page at 32, like max results at a time. But you just have the next button that you can just keep hitting to get to like all the different pages of results. You don't have to type in everything. So you can literally have a really easy way to get to everybody. It also included personal email addresses that you signed up on the website with in this okay. list. So, so, like, you can just you can get anyone's email address you want. Yeah, so basically, you have a very easy way to go access, if you ever wanted to, every single DC nurse's personal email address. You know how many, you know how much you could probably sell that list for to companies that were trying to either promote nursing products or push nursing uh, yeah. legislation and propaganda and anything of the sort? So, not only did you make that completely accessible without people's, like... I mean, you could write consent. a bot in, like, 10 minutes to, to harvest oh, all this for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very easily. And I didn't even notice this yesterday because that's not what I was paying attention to. I... Continuing on in the site, not only is it the clunkiest and most unuser-friendly site I have ever tried to do. Like, one, one screen, it tells you you're supposed to put in your, your CEUs. And it says, you know, the, you know the, the type of CEUs you got. How many CEUs did you get? Upload your document of proof. Most CEUs, when you get them, are one credit hour, and you need 24 of them. You can take longer classes that are like eight hours. It's a full day. You can get eight CEUs, or I had a class that was a two-day class, and it was worth 14 CEUs. So that was the first one I uploaded. It said 14 CEs. Here's the upload. Hit the next button. The next button just takes you to the next section of the form. So, without telling you, they wanted you to put all your CEs on this one section. So, I don't even know why they give you a chance to put in how many you're putting in. Because you need to say 24. Because you have to have 24. And, but it only lets you upload three documents. So, so how are you supposed to put all 24 up? Well, uh, what I ended up doing is I put them all in a zip file and just uploaded the zip file. Because I didn't know what else to do. Hmm. That's going to be a mess so, for them. Th so for, that's going to be a huge mess for one because nurses are not very tech savvy in general. <laughs> They're not going to know to just throw this thing into a zip file. They're going to get confused as shit and either only submit one of their CEs or probably none. Most likely they'll just put in none and see what happens. Um because they're not going to know like to have, I have to zip this thing up to make it, you know, functional and make it work. Right. So moving on, like let's just go the whole thing antiquated, clunky, stupid questions Forms it makes you do a search for something for that doesn't actually like populate the things through and you end up having to manually type it all in anyway. So then I get to the end and I get to the payment. So you have to pay $145 to DC to renew your license, your nursing license. So I hit the make a payment button by credit card. It takes you to the site so you can put in your payment information. I do this and then it takes you back to the form that you were working on. And it says... Now find your your credit card transaction ID and input uh, and do a do a search for your credit card transaction ID so for proof what? of payment. So I was like, what the fuck? So you literally hit another search box. It loads up every credit card transaction <laughs> that people have done on this website. It gives you a transaction ID number, their amount paid, the name of the person that did it, and the status of it, and the and the 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 status and message if there's a status message. It doesn't give you credit card information, which is I, good, I was hoping but, that was that was the thing you were gonna say. But at this it, point, it does give you a name. So I'm looking at this list of people, and I'm like, look, John Smith had his credit card declined four times for insufficient funds, and like just going through this list of everybody who's made a payment. To the system this is insane uh, absolutely insane and 
Uh, the reason I know that many people are using it is because my credit card transaction was transaction number 162. Hmm. So only 162 people. I was the 162nd person that tried to put a transaction through. Uh, many of them. <laughs> I looked through the entire list, and uh, most of them at the beginning actually looked like they were test transactions. Uh, like from mm. the people probably testing the system because there was a lot of the same person having declined and approved ones for like zero and one dollar all through there. Right. And then it started getting into a list of the ones that looked like more of a, a normal like hundred and forty five dollar like fee. So I'm assuming that that was more, you know, based on on that. Um, right. Do you have any like un good unbreakings or anything on this shovel that you're making? I I just I went and got a second enchant to get unbreaking on this shovel. Yeah, basically i don't have any much unbreaking anything. oh i need 10 levels though you got 10 levels no, i have one hey, can i see a book I just oh wait no i need four can i see a book oh yeah sorry i have to call the books yeah here you go i need to go get one level of all things so i tweeted at dc i saw your I tweet i didn't just didn't click on the image and and the image is the transactions you can go look at the transactions so <laughs> I, I i cleared out i cleared out the names so except for mm. mine uh, except for my own name, because, you know, I, I'm obviously the one making the tweet. And people know that I'm you know, doing this here. But uh, so DC, I was kind of shocked that this tweet only got like um, like two retweets or something like that and five likes. Like very, 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 very low. I thought people in general liked a, you know, a controversy kind of against the government type of deal <laughs> anyway. Uh, but I also uh, thought it would like people would like seem to you know catch on to it just for the awareness of the situation that's happening because it's, right. it's unacceptable and it got very 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 few um people that even saw the thing which i was surprised however i then wrote a very long email to the dc board of health explaining all of my issues including the the one about the the names and stuff coming up with the uh, uh the email addresses and personal information out there but DC Department of Health did respond to my tweet uh, sometime <laughs> late in the evening saying that they are currently working to fix this error in their system. <laughs> I mean, how did it pass any kind of quality I, control? I, I don't know. And you're talking, this is the government agency. Like, how on earth? Like, I know governments can be incompetent. Uh, but this is like, in the wake of Facebook and Cambridge Analytica, how can you possibly not have any thought process to protect people's information? Yeah, that's... And I yeah, know a lot of people are going to say, insane. email address, that's no big deal. And I would, for the most part, agree. And that's probably why I missed it at the beginning. But there are still so many things that can be done with a list of specific email addresses for a specific purpose. Uh, we need to sleep. It is dark out here and dangerous. I mean, yeah, that's that's such a such a it's such a pointed area. list that you could do stuff with. There's a pig yeah. in here. Uh, like it's not like if I just had a list of a thousand random email addresses, who knows what product I could try to sell to these people? Right. Right, but you have a list of a thousand nurses' email addresses. Right, a thousand DC nurses' email addresses. Yeah. You know? That's, so it, that's very specific. A very pointed list that you could easily use for some very negative purposes. And it's funny, like I'm saying this, and this episode might even come out before they fix this uh, this issue. And you know what? Fuck, I was thinking about going and mining the data just for my own, just to see if I, how long it would take yeah, me to write yeah. the button. All you have to do is go on there. You probably have to make a fake account and then uh, claim you want to renew your license and see if you can get into the, the renewal screens. And that's where it's all at. Because after I renewed my license, I went back to it and uh, got more screenshots and stuff of it to add to my email that I sent the Department of Health afterwards. Oh, it's so bizarre. It's just, I mean, it's, it, it, I, I was baffled, baffled. And somehow, and, and think, this is what our government tax dollars are paying for. This is the type of IT I service what, that we what somehow kind of person are paying was paid. For. How much were they paid and stuff? They, they probably built it internally. I have no idea, but who knows? Who knows? How bad would it be if they actually hired an outside company that did this? Right. That's what I was thinking at first was you know, I'm, some company you know, I actually hope for DC's, DC's sake that they did because then they can get them to fix it all without wasting more people's money. Um, mm. whereas I think it's on top of this hill I started, and then I realized that iron shovels die pretty quickly. <laughs> I don't even know exactly what I'm doing over here, but I figured... Is it at? And you tell me maybe this spot won't work up here. 
I started. I mean, it's not wide enough, but it's okay. Well, you did. I don't believe you that it's three times 58 wide. It's huge, dude. But this is a very huge thing. Three times 58. Maybe in between episodes, we'll have to. Oh, yeah. Well, We're wait, do you think happy. that is a flat land over there? Where? Maybe. Ugh. I thought you threw an ender pearl. No. No, I just was sh shooting my arrow to see. Because that might work better if it really does have to be that wide. I mean, I've written some terrible programs in, in my day. You know, not security conscious. You know, um, I, I didn't really... I, I don't have any, like, commercial products or anything, you know, out there. So I was not really looking for high security. I have nothing that has a lot of, you know, popularity or anything. Yeah, this is, this but, is pretty flat. But I just... I, as, especially in how can you release something like that in the middle of the Facebook Cambridge Analytica scandal? I mean, honestly, I don't even think that stuff, I don't even think that matters in the whole scheme of it all. I feel like people should be conscious to this type of stuff regardless of that sort of thing. Well, they I mean, absolutely, the absolutely should be, especially when you force people to do this. This isn't even something I have an option as a right, DC right. nurse. I have to be on this system. That's the only way you're allowed to do your renewals and stuff anymore. I don't believe there's any way to do it by phone or by mail anymore. Uh, we're going to, it's funny, my buddy from Michigan was really pissed off because Michigan changed this year as well to only an online option. And he was flipping out saying, how can they expect nurses to have to have email addresses for this? This is bullshit. And I was like, dude. Wait, he doesn't have an email address? He does. He's, a, he's also got a nursing informatics degree. And I'm like, dude, I am all about getting everything to only be electronic. And if you're talking about nurses in the real world, you can't use the excuse that they shouldn't have basics of technology because if you're working in healthcare in this day and age, you need to have at least the basics of technology. I mean, everyone needs an email address. I mean, I would agree. Um, so I'm not against the whole system being online and online only, but you, by forcing me to make an account through this system, by the way, the accounts... They do have stored somewhere people like things like my credit card information, my social security number. They have that uh, stuff because they have to. I didn't come across it, but based on their system, I bet it wouldn't be hard to hack and get. Right. doesn't sound like it's a very secure setup they got going on here. Your thing, that shovel is doing some work, man. Yeah, that's why I don't want a shitty iron shovel. I actually wonder if we're gonna do this, should we also be looking at killing the wither so we can make a beacon to get some haste? Hmm. Yeah, I was I mean that's why I was making this armor. Yeah, you did talk about the, the whole the whole wither thing before. I don't know why I just filled in your holes. Oh, we're gonna need Yeah, my, my little iron shovel ain't doing shit. What enchants do you got on that thing? Uh, it's efficiency six or... Efficiency six? No, IV, that's four, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I, was four. Say, I didn't think you could make efficiency six. Yeah, so I guess I could get a higher efficiency technically. Uh, efficiency four and unbreaking three. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need to get get some better shovels. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I, I'm, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting with bated breath to see if they can actually fix this. I wouldn't hold your in, breath too long there. Manner. Well, yeah, because like if, if, it, if they have to take the site down to fix their stuff, I mean, then they're going to have to extend the nursing license renewal period again. Right. Oops. Which I don't think they want to do. Did uh oh uh, oh boy that said he was working at your hospital? Anything ever come of that? Uh, you know it's funny because I'm working with all of the hospitals in my systems uh, IT department groups or some the leads of their IT to do this whole downtime thing that that got him you know I caught I call the cop but no, no there's no new information but. Okay. I have to interface with all of the hospital's IT departments and uh, through their like corporate or their system leadership. And 
I sent out an email today to get something to make sure we get this finished at all the other facilities that had, you know, were they were a little bit behind for other reasons um, that, you know, they could. It's not that they were skirting the issue. They weren't ready with the hardware and stuff to get uh, to get things going yet, which they are now. And ironically, he sent all this information to all the the system partners. And the only person who got a hold of me right away was <laughs> not this person but uh -oh. was somebody from their facility with him CC'd in the line and said, you know, I just checked our, you know, our computer. We actually, looks like we have all these scripts. He hasn't been in the loop on any of this, so he doesn't really know what's going on. He's like, it looks like we already have all this stuff. Or, like, is there anything else I need to do? And I said, no, 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 your facility is actually one of the three that are completely done already. Um, I think you were just getting information because that's what everybody else is trying to get, you know, caught up with to make sure they're in line with what you and I in this one other place have. And he was like, oh, okay, sounds good. Just let me know if I need to do anything else. I've never heard of this guy before. Huh. Wonder if he's new dude. I but he, obviously the other guy's there because he CC'd him. Oh right, but right. I'm I'm wondering if maybe there's a, a knowledge that the one guy isn't doing anything and there's other things like maybe <clears throat> maybe he's happening. like or on maybe his way out he, the door or something. Or maybe he just refused to respond to anything having to do with me because of the incident from before. And Yo, that that would be fucking petty and unprofessional. Uh yeah, that shit, that shit happens all the time. No, that happens all the time. <laughs> I actually have my employees a lot come to me with uh, with issues that they're unable to get answers about things that we need answers for from different people. Um, said I've emailed this person like four times. They will not send me a response. And I'll say CC or forward me the last one you have and I will take care of it. And I'll like take their forward and just respond to the person CCing my employee in it. And I'll be like, you know. You know, Jim, we really need the answer to this because it's coming up on our work group tomorrow. And usually within like an hour, I have a response. Huh. Wonder why you get the response. Well, because I'm the director of informatics. So my, my name holds more weight than a random person in my department. So people see other people's names and don't figure it's as important even when it's asking the exact same question. I don't know why people have this like this thought process like i can understand maybe maybe some of it and but it's it happens so much it's definitely more than some of it but some of it could be triaging of emails and if you see a name that you're not familiar with but you have a lot of emails you might not look at that one as closely and move on to the next one because if you see emails coming up from like our chief nursing officer or executive leadership obviously those ones are going to take precedent and right. my name is kind of synonymous with executive leadership, even though I'm not executive leadership, just because of the space that I'm in charge of. It's for, for nurses, the the, uh, the electronic health record system and any updates and changes to that are very important. So nursing leadership and stuff is kind of on their toes when I email them to make sure there's not some changes they need to be aware of that are happening. Right. Okay. I gotcha. Um, well, we're out of time, and it's just good because I want to go look at this video and tell you how wrong you are. I want to see it be twenty minutes across or twenty twenty uh, blocks. Across. No, it's you're gonna be disappointed. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll okay. See you next time. See you guys.